So this video is going to cover three payment processors. That's if you're going to use World Remit, if you're going to use Western Union, or if you're going to use MoneyGram, okay? So there's one simple thing you're going to do. You may not know where to go uh, to use MoneyGram from. You're going to go to gogo.com, as you can see. So I'm going to write in, for example, now let me search for Western Union. You're going to type in um, nearest Western Union branches around me. Or you can put what are the nearest Western Union branches and you put your address on this address. So they will show you, Google will display results showing you the nearest branches of Western Union to you, to your address, okay? Now there's one simple thing I want to talk about. Do not use the online platform of those guys because they don't trust money coming to Africa. They will always put the money on hold and they will not approve it. When you go to their main office with their physical branches, those guys, they don't give any hard time if you're sending money down here in Africa. So you just send the money and they will give you a receipt, okay? And yeah, the money will be sent. So how do you do that? What do you need? So click below on this button below if you're using World Remit. Click below here if you're using Western Union. Click below there on the, on the one for Western Union. If you're using MoneyGram, click below there. Click on, click on there. When you go to the next page, you will find the information is for our own pastor, Julius. His first and second name, his address, and the country. So that's all you need to send the money via Western Union. You just need the, the names, the address, and the country, and his phone number only that that's all you need and again guys do not forget to take take an image the most important things on the on those on those on those receipts is the transfer number that is the mtcn the money transfer control number is like a 10 digit number western union i think all dream is like seven digits but kind of differs but they all have that number that cracks that 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 is that is the major thing that you need to get the money out secondly um, take, take, a full, take a full picture of the whole receipt where the MTCN is showing, the transfer control number is showing, where the sender's names are showing, the receiver's names are showing, and the amount sent. And don't make a mistake on the names, uh, on the names of our Pastor Julius. Don't make a mistake because if you make a mistake, it, he can't pick it because his names must be the same names on the ID and that's the names we have given you below. So. Take your action. This takes, if you're going to the physical branch, it takes you like two minutes to send the money. You won't need a credit card or a debit card or a bank account. You just need hard cash in your hands. Go to that branch, tell them, I want to send cash in minutes to Africa. And they will give you a small a form to fill in, fill in his names, his address, and his country, and pay the cash, and they give you the receipt. Take a picture of the receipt, send to our email, at gmail.com. After that, send us your prayer request. Do not forget to send us your prayer request, okay? To the same email, seedtithefaith at gmail.com. Days later, the landlord of us, the landlord of us is going to visit you. He's going to allocate you for whatever request you have, you have, you have to God. It's going to be fulfilled in no time. So please record a testimony video. We want to make this a mighty move of God in the nations. This is like a small place in Africa, but we want it to touch the entire world. Okay, so help us in doing that because the more you can tap from this, the more your life can change, the more this can affect your finances and take you to the highest level in this anointing of God. And of course, in, in a better way of living life. So please send us a testimony video to seedtithefaith at gmail.com. Do not forget that. Thank you.